Bounce was off. I'm like, broski, that ain't never stopped a brother. Don't lie. Ain't never stopped. That pH balance has never stopped a brother. We gonna hold our nose. And we gonna keep on going, sir. So don't, I don't wanna hear that. Don't lie to yourself. You've been through worse. You've been through worse. You've been through worse. Okay? All right? Your flop ting ain't got nothing to do with her pH balance. Let's keep it a buck, keep it real. Ain't nothing to do with that, sir. You just have a problem. And it's okay. I just need you to maybe, you know, maybe see someone or whatever. Get yourself an order. Take care of yourself. Don't, don't, don't stress yourself. You know what I mean? You know? Don't stress yourself. I'm not saying Alexis is... Uh, and listen, I've been getting on Alexis all season long. But I just was like, looking at the end, I was like, you've had a reunion. You've now had this moment. You're even still saying stuff as you're walking away. You're still trying to have your last say. And I'm like, sir, relax. You called another brother, another brother gay because you got in your emotions. When you get in your emotions, everybody gets shot. It don't make sense. When you, when you, when you, when you get emotional, everybody gets shot. You know? Blood, let me tell you something. Yeah, listen, you take one for the PH team, you take it. You, you, you listen, you just hold it down. You don't, you know what? You hold, hold it down and you keep on going, bro. Because what's, what's at the end is more important than what I'm spelling right now. I'm just going to keep it a buck. So I'm telling you, Okay. Right, you're right. It will stop you on that place, Trey. But he couldn't get it up, so he has to put his face there. That's not my business, you know what I'm saying? And that's not my business, you know. That's not my business. At the end of the day, I'm not pissed. Get yours, cause me, I'ma get mine. So you know what I'm saying, like, bro, you, you, if the pH is off, that's your business. You know what I mean? I'ma hold my breath. I'm going to hold my breath. See, way we got last 10 minutes, so you got to say it quick. This is what we're on Justin and Alexis. So, baby, because my, my eyes are literally shutting. Talk to me. Tell him what you got to tell him, dude. Sean ain't coming. Where's Sean at? Oh, I don't know. He, I don't know. I, I sent him the link, but I don't know. Maybe he's uh, doing something, isn't it? He'll come up to you. He, we've got, we got 10 minutes because my eyes are doing uh, gang signs, so we have to do another day. We can do proper super panel. But you're looking okay, cute, yeah. so I see you. Thank you. Thank you. No worries, B. Um, just an Alexis situation. Um, with the B. Or do you have Bieber? more? Yeah. Or do you have more on Stacey and Nate? Did you wanna? Who did you have more on? Um, do y'all hear this echo? Hear this or is it echo just, me? Or just me? It's me. It's me. Sorry, I need to put my headphones in. Apologies. I'll put. I'll oh, mic. Okay, I'll okay, close okay. my mic. Um. Well, I mean, with Stacey and Nate, I think, you know. Unfortunately, I heard I overheard you talking, you guys talking earlier about how he just, you know, how he's really second guessing her being the one for him. And I think he's just really putting her in an effed up position. Uh, I, I understand his hesitation, but um, when he signed up for Married at First Sight, he needs there's no more taking it slow. And his waffling is just not a good look. So. I, I get why she keeps letting him back because it ain't that many good dudes out here and he's a decent one. I ain't saying he's great, but I'm saying he's a decent one. He's cute. He's all those things. He got his little day trading situation going on. So I know why she's holding on because the streets ain't much in these streets. I mean, the ladies know ain't much in these streets. These streets ain't, ain't where you want to be. Okay. So I understand why she's trying to make it work. But Nate needs to get it together. He needs to get it together. He made a commitment. Uh, Sasia is a good catch. Um, and I hope he can just put the pieces together. Because both of them are probably better off with each other than without each other. Um, so, yeah. But if they decide to go their separate ways, you know, I understand that too. Uh, with, so, with um, Alexia in, in Tree... I saw people debating this on Miss Misha channel. I do not think that she has BV. I don't think any of that. He is a petty patty. He's mad. He's embarrassed. Um, and he's pissed at her. And she is a Karen. She's a black Karen. I have like, haven't really seen a black Karen, but 
that conversation that she had with Justin is the reason why he's being petty with her at the end of the, the episode when she was just like talking like talking to him like he was slow and asking did he have anything to say he was like absolutely not I mean I think he's just tired of her games and so he's being kind of mean and nasty with her um and that's all that is uh because they're they're both getting on each other's nerves but I don't believe anything that comes out his mouth I'm starting not to believe the Nate situation either I think he's just going around and he's just saying stuff so um yeah, that's my opinion. I think they need to go their separate ways. Um, and Justin is a whole fool. But. I Listen, I mean, you know, with the whole Justin situation, um, you know, uh, he was just petty. I just, I just found a lot of his things petty. Like, also as well, like, I, I know that obviously the uh, apology in the... Uh, this poly- the apology situation was a bit, um, I don't know, maybe for me, once Alexis came to apologize, I mean, the apology was shit, apology anyway, Alexis' apology was shit, because once you start saying, if I think, if, if I hurt you, baby, you know what you said on, the, on that light, on that after dark, yeah. and you know it was insinuating something, you know it's going to be problematic, right, so let's, let's not, that's the part that I think she needs to pretend, stop pretending as if she doesn't know what she's doing, which is what you're saying about the Karen behaviour, it's like, I don't know what I said, oh my god, like, is that bad, but now you're apologising, why are you apologising? Also as well, she really, something really odd as well, she always, I've got a soft spot for Justin. I'm like, every single time, like, is there something else that you need to tell us, uh, 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 Alexis, that you ain't telling us the full truth? I'm not saying that you're all the way attracted to him, but are you, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you maybe you got your self-esteem is a little bit lower than we actually realise, because baby, you, you, it sounds like you want to keep coming around this brother. Like, you know, maybe you did come back that night and you won't tell nobody. Do you know what I'm saying? So he might be giving you trash peen, but for some reason you keep coming back. What is going on there? Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. What do you think about that situation? I'm not going to lie to you. I, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but Justin was giving big dick energy at the end of the show. The way that he kind of dismissed her when she asked, like, do you have anything to say? Was making me feel like there's a little bit more to Justin that we see. I I hate to say it, and people don't kill me, but there was some about his energy that was giving. Why are you here? It was giving shoe fly. Don't bother me. And I was just like, Is this Justin? Is this like crybaby Justin? Is this boohoo Justin? He was he was giving very much so unbothered, and. I'm starting to be confused about what is really going on. I will say, though, Justin does, Justin has done a lot of shenanigans like a lot of men do that set women up to either lie to them or tell them the truth. Him going on and on about who orgasm, what he been doing, all this type of other stuff really sets up a woman to have to lie for you or tell you the truth. I'm not defending what she said on the afterlife, but he does a lot of talking. You know, and so I'm not sure if she's wrong for airing him out, even if she, I don't even know if she had to apologize because he was doing a lot of stuff saying he was he was working with a lot of stuff that is yet to be proven. But um, I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe he was the one telling the truth and she wasn't because why are you so pressed to talk to this man? He I've never seen him so unbothered. He apologized to everybody but her. I don't know. And even after their first little admitted situation, he didn't seem impressed then. I think Jay asked me how I believe <laughs> how I believe that Nate was hitting on him, but don't believe uh she got BV. I just don't like when men come out of nowhere with some bull crap. Cause you're mad. Do you feel the gay thing was out of nowhere too? Let's yeah, I mean it, it, it was, but I wouldn't have believed that if Nate didn't respond the way he responded. I only reason why I believe that because Nate was doing the absolute most worried about why another man is not following him on Instagram. To me, that was what sold me, not Justin's nonsensical conversation. I've never seen another man so pressed about who was following him. That was very bizarre from Nate. You know, that was my issue, but... um. I don't know. But this is this is what we talk about, Kojo. 
men it's about confidence for me seeing justin standing there dismissing her like girl i can't be bothered i'm not gonna jump to he's attractive i can't jump to that but what i will jump to is that he was way more interesting to me he ought to he like he became interesting because i'm just like he's not being a doormat he's not crying and he's standing up for himself like that was just way more attractive so and i think i think she's attracted to that because women like that they like confidence so i i did think that there was maybe a little bit of that going on when he finally stood up to her and finally let her know hey i'm not playing anymore 